What the hell? How'd you get over here? Son of a... Oh, I wonder if he came all the way around from there. Ah, shit! Buzzards! You mofo! More buzzards? Yep. Ah! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Here I thought we were going to be able to sneak into this tower. You know what? I should just know better. That's all there is to it. I should just freaking know better. <laughs> it never goes easy. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set the nightmare speed. This entire map is generated by nitrogen and it's, and it's a wasteland map except for a small green bomb somewhere that we are on the search for. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. We, we are picking up right where we left off. It's literally only been a couple of seconds since I left you in the last episode. So if you didn't catch the last episode, we found this town and we found... Um, a big working stiff store, a pop and pill store, and a chamois store, um, and a poopy pants, and some other stuff. There's there's some pretty significant POIs in this town, so we're gonna stick around here for a while, and um, and and you know do some looting and maybe come across like a workbench that we can make ourselves start thinking about making ourselves a vehicle, bicycle or a mini bike or or whatever. So that's kind of the plan. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get started here. So I'm pretty sure O'Reilly has a workbench in it. So what I think I want to do is I want to decide first where we're going to set up our temporary base, figure out a good place to do that. Um, and then uh, we'll drop off a bunch of stuff. There's another barn off that way. We'll drop off a bunch of stuff and then we'll start working these POIs here. Um, O'Reilly, I'm just trying to think, does this have a workbench in it or not? Maybe it doesn't. I should know. I mean, I, I spent like my entire life five in the Dead is Dead series based on top of this building. <laughs> but I was on top of it. I can't remember. Oh, there's another snake. I can't remember if there was um, a workbench in it or not. I think there is, but just can't remember okay we got a home cooking place there let's see if we can get this snake aggroed um we got to keep our always keep the blocks on the toolbar okay come here buddy gosh dang it i can't hit this son of a bitch all right, do we just attract buzzards? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take one of these anyways. Well, it worked good the first time we tried it. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see here. I kind of want to, whatever we do base, stay in this general vicinity where the, you know, the three stores are that we're going to do. I'm pretty sure that home cooking place is going to probably have sleepers on top. Of course, just about any place we go on the roof is going to have sleepers on top. For that matter. Um, I know O'Reilly does for sure. In fact, O'Reilly even has a ramp, you know, a, like a caved in roof that the zombies inside can run up onto the roof. It's pretty nasty. Found that out the hard way. We could... Oh, you know what? We could base up in one of the prison towers. That's what we'll do. <laughs> That's what we'll do. We'll become the warden of the prison. That's what we'll do. Okay. So let's let's do that. Let's get over to the prison. We'll just pick that tower right there and that'll be our base. Because we don't need a lot of space. We need a place to put down a bag and a couple of chests and a, and a campfire. And that's really all we need. For now, anyway. And we got a nice little supply of meat. And we have enough to make two bacon and eggs in addition to the three we already have. So we're in pretty good shape food-wise. But I want to I want to be like extra mega careful until we can get a new bag down. I'm actually going to hang on to those now because 
we're so close to. Well, no, I'm not. <coughs> Excuse me. We can come back for this stuff later. Don't really need the chainsaw right at the moment. We can turn these into bolts. Man, we are so low on 762s. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, we do need to, though, make another bedroll. Watch out for the hubcap there. Thought I saw something move right there by those cinder blocks, but maybe it was that guy that's further away jumping around. Bob's Cafe, home cooking. If you say so, buddy. Okay, nice and slow. Got a Nurse Nancy up ahead. That guy's moving towards us, so let's go this way. There's a toilet over there. Potential for toilet pistol. You know, the thing about the toilet pistols in Alpha 18, though, is that they're pretty rare, and every one I've ever found has been really bad, really low level. When you do find them. See, we got a nice little water source right very close to the tower, so that's another good reason. It's kind of a janky water source, though. It's kind of weird, man. <laughs> but it'll work. It'll do the job that we need it to do. Okay. This is going to be a handful to loot that place, but it, it'll be it should be worth it. Should be worth it in the end, hopefully. There you go. Good girl. Now, I don't think there are usually sleepers in these towers. I could be wrong about that, though. But I don't think there are. So we're just going to nerd pull up there for now. It's nice stuff. Oh, well, so much for not thinking there's uh, sleepers up here, huh? That's okay. At least we're safe from anything down below trying to get to us. I think. <laughs> I hope. All right. Sounds like we just have one one to deal with too. So. We don't need that on the toolbar right at the moment. Um. Let's get. The other shoddy and this. We need a drink too. I guess the buzzard's not gonna hurt us. We we're not at full health, but he doesn't seem to be wanting to, to eat our butt. Nurse Nancy's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, she aggroed us. Oh! I just didn't want her down there tearing all the stuff up that we have down below. Alright, we got to deal with this guy. Here he comes. Alright, and 
Anybody else coming this way? Alright, I have a feeling like we might get another one up here. So let's, uh... He's probably trying to break through the door down below. So, you're trying to break in, you're trying to break in. There's one trying to break in down there. Let's at least soften these guys up a little bit. Where are you going, lady? Many bolts left. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's use the gun that we have the most bullets for. There's a novel idea, right? Did somebody break in up here yet? No. We've already woken everybody up anyway. Ah, how'd you get over here? Oh, I don't have any stamina left. Dog, go on it. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to be as conservative as possible here. Let's not waste ammo on that. Okay, so somebody got up over here. I'm not sure how they did. They broke through over here. Okay, let's do this. Let's block this off. That's a, Okay, yeah, that's a ladder down there. Alright, there's nothing up here. Just want to make sure there's no sleepies. Okay. Good enough. Let's go back this way. down here? No, there's not. Okay. I didn't think we really need that one there. Okay, we'll come around here. Back around this way. Our safest bet's probably just to let these guys... Well, have they completely broken the doors? That one's kind of in rough shape. Okay, let's get a little closer to him. What the hell? How'd you get over here? Son of a... Oh, I wonder if he came all the way around from there. Ah, shit! Buzzards! You mofo! 
More buzzards? Yep. Ah! <laughs> oh man. This is not You're not dead? I thought I killed you. Now he's dead. Jeez Louise. Here I thought we were gonna be able to sneak into this tower. You know what? I should just know better. That's all there is to it. I should just freaking know better. <laughs> it never goes easy. All right, let's take another one. Actually, here, let's um turn these into bandages. It never goes easy. Well, very seldom does it. Um, all right, let's take another pill. Then we're going to be thirsty AF. So that individual is about ready to break. Well, they're about ready. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Finally. There's going to be more sleepies in there, but... As long as we've kind of gotten rid of the ones that were in this immediate vicinity. That needs to be repaired. Let's just do that right now so we don't forget. You know, I've never actually done a base at the prison. I've been, you know, I've looted this place multiple, many times. It's been around seven days to die for a long time. But I've never actually made a base here, so that'll be interesting. Okay, that door's locked. No, oh. I didn't really want to expend iron on that, but oh well, whatever. Okay, let's pick that up, and um, before we, you know, before we do the safe, let's actually establish our base now is we're probably not gonna be able to do anything up here huh because it's pretty damn narrow check all of our weapons all right Yeah, there's not a lot of room in these towers, is there? Not a whole bunch of room. I wonder if we should go ahead and go into the into the main building and clear it and then and then base in there because that's going to give us more room. Mm. Well, whether or not we do that, we really need we need to do a drop chest somewhere because we're like so full right now. Okay, so let's make a chest. I'm just going to put that there for the moment. And then let's drop off stuff that we don't. You know what? We're going to also put this down to boom to set the spawn point because if we died right now we'd go all the way back to the barn, which I do not want to do. Um, the land claim block, we might actually put it down legit to help stop spawns once we get the rest of the place cleared. Okay, we're still thirsty, so let's drink another water. I'm going to start hanging on to jars again. Um, what time is it? Yeah, it's starting to get late. All right, let's put all that in there. We don't need to carry any of this stuff with us. I want to keep cloth with me, though, just in case we... Um, Need, you know, to do another bandage. Keep that. Keep the pills. We might need the master key. We'll put all that stuff in there. I don't think we'll need a shovel for anything. Let's keep the wrench, though. 
Okay, are we good? Oh, put the bacon and eggs in there too. <clears throat> All right, so I'm. What's the stamina? Oh wow, fifty stamina regen. Damn. We yeah, we need to hang on to that. We need to hang on to that. Let's go ahead and pop a can of salmon. That'll give us fifteen back. And let's pop a boiled meat as well. Okay. That should get our stamina cap back up. Uh, we're still just a tad, tad thirsty, so let's drink another water. Okay, I think we're good. Let's take those with us. And go clear this, uh, the prison. I think we'll worry about the safe later. Well, you know what, though? We could get the ammo that we need to clear the rest of the prison from that safe. All right, here goes nothing. Almost got it. Very nice. We'll take that. Okay. Well, we don't need to carry that with us now. <clears throat> and we don't need the hunting rifle. You know what? Let's actually take those with us. We might be able to put those to use. <laughs> Where are we going? Okay, let's do this. Wow, that door's unlocked. Okay. Let's make a few more of these. Okay, can we make some noise? Some attention. Really? Wow. Okay. Let's proceed very cautiously. Because this is a nice little choke point right here. Lots of toilets in here. If we had to run into a cell, could we do it? Oh, yeah, we could do a choke point in here. Okay. <sighs> we'll loot the toilets and all that after we clear the place. This room in this corner here is where the fat loots are. coming from outside. Oh. I guess that's not a, a thing I'm a doodle. A trap thing. Right, does that go outside or does that go into our room? It goes, I think it goes outside. I'm sure it does.
Hmm, maybe not. Unless it's the door around that corner there. I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay. Well, um, it looks like we may, with the exception of what might be in that room, have already done all the sleepers in here. Can we... Yeah, see, we can't put a thing down there. We'd have to come from the top. Okay, well, let's see if there's anybody in here first. Can we go this way? I don't think there's anybody in there. There's two safes and an ammo bag, too. Okay. Nice little find there, huh? Just in case we get a little surprise. A little unexpected surprise. That wouldn't happen in this game. Alright, we're gonna hopefully we'll find some decent loot in here. There's two safes and a and a gun bag, so there's gotta be something good in here. Oh, jeez, there's three safes. Sweet, okay. Let's open them up, see what we got. Uh, sled potential sledgehammer upgrades. Let's scrap that. And a muzzle brake mod, which I think we can put on our pistol. Uh, where's our pistol? Right here. Modify. Yep. So right now it does 33 range damage. Now it does 36. Uh, plus, I think that... What does that do? Reduce recoil, I think? Now, let's look at the uh, the sledges. So we'll take our mod off of our current sledge, so that's not factored in. We'll line these three up. Okay, so this one, the orange one is inferior to our current one, except for durability. The yellow one is the same as our brown one, but with more durability. So that's a minor upgrade, but it is an upgrade nonetheless. And it's got another slot, too. Okay, cool. So these guys, we're probably just going to stash and... Stash and... Um, smelt down later on. All right, guys. I'm going to bang on these safes with my pick. When I'm finished banging on the safes, I will bring it back and show you what's in there. And then we'll probably have to get this episode wrapped up. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, got the all three safes broken open. Let's check this one first. Nice, take that. And we'll check this one. All right, is this better than what we have? It is not. And then last but not least. All right. Very nice. Is this one better than what we have? It is not. Okay, so. Um, can we put... We can put that on the shotgun. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. I like it. Um. All right. So we are going to move in here, but on the next floor up. So that means, <coughs> excuse me. That means I want to get these stairs busted out, which I'll do off camera. And I probably want to do that with the auger, which means I need to go out and get a, uh, uh, go get some gasoline. But what we'll probably do is we'll probably go ahead and set up right over here in this little corner uh, for our base. 
and I'm going to take this land claim block and I'm just going to put it right there to help stop spawns and then we'll go get we'll go get our um, that's made out of cobblestone well unless it's painted cement what is this yeah that is actually no that's brick because cobblestone's 1500 all right well that's that's actually reinforced concrete there though so You know what? I think the door, that door down there does go into another room. Well, here, let's check that out before I let you guys go. Um, no, hold on, hold on. I want to move my, my sleeping bag over here. I guess it doesn't matter. I could have done it earlier, but, or later. So this ladder also needs to be blocked for the moment. Fido's attention. Alright, you know what? I don't want him busting a hole in the wall, so let's kill him. We're going to have to really go after some bird's nests because I'm so low on bolts right now. Put this let's put it right there okay so there's something else in here Looks like it's just a bathroom. Yeah, it's the shower room. All right. There's some acid. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of a lot of toilets um, that we could loot. Maybe not. 7,000, yeah. <laughs> we won't be looting those ones, but the ones that are this, with the open cells. Uh, you know, we can loot those. Let's see if there's any clothing. Ooh, nice. A leather duster. What about this one? Um, Yeah. I will take that. This has really good heat resist. Alright. Let's modify that. There we go. Okay, good. That was nice. All right, so um, I'm gonna let you guys go here, and what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna put another drop chest down and move all my stuff over here, and then I'm gonna go out and you know just, and wrench a bunch of cars to get gasoline so I can then come back in here and break these stairs away. I know I could you know probably put blocks over it. In fact, I am gonna do that now. But I've seen the AI still try and break those. Supposedly, when you do that, it it shows the AI that that's no longer a, a legit path. But I don't want to rely on that. I want I want to actually break those stairs all the way out, and I don't want to do that by hand. We got an auger. Let's use it, right? But we need gasoline for it. So, um, so I'm gonna work on that. Um, getting gas. I'll wrench cars. Oh shit! It's almost nighttime already. Gosh, dang it! I didn't realize it was so late. What direction? Okay. No! It's not what I wanted you to do. Um, Let's make another one. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go maybe wrench cars. Maybe not. Maybe I am just going to stay in here all night and break that by hand. Because I don't really want to be out at night time. So... It's so bad at nighttime around here. 
it, you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be so bad and won't be so bad once we get our stealth skills up because then we can move around at night and they can't see us and we'll be fine, but we don't have those stealth skills yet. Okay. Oh, it's that damn light that's... Wonder. Here, let's wrench it. There we go. So I want to line up my chest kind of like on this wall here. Okay, yeah, it's uh are there any cars like right next to the to the prison? A bunch over there. 2136. Any zombos? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit uh I'm gonna hit these cars right here just as quickly as I can. Let's repair that. And then I'll get all my shit organized overnight. Just drop all that stuff off for now. And get those stairs broke out, and then I will meet you guys in the morning. And we will... What? A lot of wood frames already? Go from there, okay? Actually, I don't want to do that because... Rather nerd pull. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.